oh, that's really sad. Do I want to get rid of it? No, 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 no hoarding. I have to get rid of it. You are going, you are leaving. That's it. That's final. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today I'm gonna to be chatting about all the plants that I'm gonna be getting rid of from my plant collection. So I asked you guys on Instagram for some advice on how to actually choose what plants you're gonna get rid of, because I find it really, really difficult. Even if that plant isn't doing great, or even if I don't like it that much, I do kind of get attached to it, and I feel bad throwing it away, giving it away, getting rid of it, because like I spent money on it, or I'm just asking myself like what if it does well later on you know those kinds of questions but you guys gave me some really solid advice which was just keep what sparks joy you know Marie Kondo it get rid of the ones that are struggling and here we are I have chosen these plants to get rid of I am going to be trying to get rid of a few more in the future and there are a few plants that I'm umming and ahhing about but these are the ones that definitely have to go I hope this video gives you some motivation to kind of clear out your own plant collection so that we're all not just like plant hoarders because that's what I kind of feel like I am right now you know a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to plants other things not a hoarder so let's just jump into the first plant that I'm getting rid of so the first plant I'm getting rid of there is absolutely nothing wrong with this plant it is actually a propagation that I made from a mother plant and I've noticed that I do have so many doubles of plants around my house or on my balcony because I love to chop and prop and then I just create new plants but then they take up space so I don't know what to do with them so this is the first plant that has sadly got to go this is a peperomia scandens variegata it is more of a vining peperomia. It's a little bit more unique to a lot of the other peperomias you see. It kind of gives me vibes of like a philodendron or a pothos, but obviously the leaves aren't as big and they are a little bit more like semi-succulent-ish. It has some gorgeous variegation to it and I find this one so easy to propagate and grow. This propagated within a few weeks and it was ready to become its own plant and I just propagated them in water. Really, I never changed the water because I didn't care if they lived or if they died. Um, and here we are we have a really nice looking plant I think there are about five or six different vines plants in the pot um, but you know I have my mother plant I'll show you what that looks like now it is beautiful it has some gorgeous leaves it's really nice and full and bushy I keep that one outside on my balcony and it gets some really nice bright indirect light throughout the day so I just don't need this guy there's it's there's nothing wrong with it I love it but you know I need to make some space all right so the next plant is a plant that is definitely struggling a little bit it is a begonia and if you watched my last video which was all about the plants that I'm currently killing you'll know that I'm not very good at begonias and this is a begonia that does not thrive in my collection and I don't love it enough to keep trying with it I don't know what variety it is I know it's some sort of rex begonia it does have some really cute pink leaves with some hairy stems and stuff like that it was a lot more bushy when I got it and the leaves were this darker pink color instead of this lighter pink color but yeah I just don't love it enough to keep trying with it um, honestly begonias and me were just not friends I just can't seem to nail the care I either keep them too damp or too dry so you know it just doesn't bring me joy it makes me feel sad when I look at it and I don't really want to keep a plant around my house that just makes me feel sad it makes me feel like a failure so this guy's got to go sometimes I just pop plants at the front of my apartment block and let people on the road take them so I think that this might be one of them so someone can go pick that up and it could be a plant for some random in my area so say goodbye to this begonia rex it was nice knowing you it was nice to have you while you were pink and pretty but you gotta go the next plant on my list is a little bit unfortunate because again there is nothing wrong with this plant it just disappointed me so I expected it to be something that it's not and that plant is the Hoya Obscura so this guy has some really dark glossy green succulent type foliage it's not as thick as a lot of other Hoya leaves but it's still thicker than a typical leaf and the reason why I am getting rid of this one is because I wanted my Hoya Obscura to get sun stressed 
and I will show a picture of like a sun-stressed obscura, see if I can find one, and it just never did that. I popped this straight under my grow light for a few months, that didn't sun stress it. I then popped it in a really, really bright window cell, that didn't sun stress it, not even a touch of sun stress. It just stayed this really dark green color, and I don't really like the look of it. It just is a bit boring and unfortunately it just did not live up to the hype of what I was expecting it to be. So it is a shame because I love Hoyas and I am a bit of a Hoya hoarder. I don't like to get rid of Hoyas but you know I don't know it's just not it's not sparking me joy and I'm so sorry. I know that you can't really get this one everywhere as well. Like I wouldn't say it's rare but I would say it's kind of more uncommon because I don't see it around very often but Unfortunately, I think maybe someone else will like it a little bit more than I will. So that is the next plant that I am getting rid of. So the next plant on my list is another balcony plant. It just lives outside. It used to live in my bathroom and I just kind of wanted to make space for things that I liked even more. So I exiled it outside. It does totally fine out there, but it's just a plant that I fell out of love with. I Thought it was stunning when I first bought it, but now I'm just kind of like, Ugh. and that is my variegated ivy. And it is quite a long plant. It really trails quite far. I've chopped it quite a few times. Well, you can see some of the white foliage kind of crisping up, which I think that is just getting a little bit sunburned because it is outside, but you know, I don't really mind. The leaves are beautiful. You've got some really nice like watercolor painted looking leaves. And despite what everyone else says, I have never had a pest issue with this ivy. Like people say that they are spider mite magnets, but I have never had that. It has done nothing but grow really fast for me, but I'm just kind of like, eh about it like sure you're cute but you're kind of just like a long scraggly vine and that's not really my vibe so again I'm thinking that someone else might like this more than I would like it it might be nice if you could like cover a whole fence or the side of your house with it I thought that would be really cute but right now that's not feasible because I live in an apartment block so I'm not gonna cover my apartment block with it so maybe one day when I get like my own house or something I will repurchase some ivy because I thought they were super easy but for now, I think that she's got to go. And, oh, that's really sad. Do I want to get rid of it? No, 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 no hoarding. I have to get rid of it. You are going, you are leaving. That's it. That's final. <laughs> All right, so the next plant on my list is a two for one because there are two different plants potted in the same pot. And yes, that is how desperate I am for space that I put two different plants in the same pot. So, you know, that's, that's a reason why things need to go. And this is my double of a plant. One side is the gorgeous, the stunning Dischidia ovata or the watermelon Dischidia. Um, so it's got some really fat, juicy leaves and the variegation on it is stunning. It's got some really nice veining. And the other side is a Hoya species affinity Bertonii. So it has these really like little fuzzy, tiny leaves. Um, they kind of just don't really remind me of a classic Hoya. Um, and they're really small. So I bought both of these online and I thought they were gonna be bigger than they were. And yes, I know Hoyas aren't typically huge when you buy them, but they were just really small. Like when I first got this, it was probably like one chunk and it's grown quite a bit for me, but it's still really small. And I just don't like that. It doesn't have the presence that some of my other plants have. You know, you just kind of, it's just there. It's just filling up space and it doesn't spark me that much joy. However, I will say I absolutely love this Dishidia. I love it, but it's so small, so I don't like it that much. I think that at some point I will be looking to get a bigger basket of it because I just, I really do like the look of the foliage. I just don't like how small it is. Um, and the same goes with the species affinity Bertonii. I, I actually bought the wrong plant by accident, but that's like a whole nother story. So I never actually really wanted this one, but you know, it came, I loved it, whatever. So that's the story with those two. I think, yeah, some other kind of Hoyo Dishidia collector may love it more than I do. And for now, it's just taking up space that I don't have. So unfortunately, it has to go. Oh, this is heartbreaking. I feel really, really bad. 
Um, I will be keeping this pot though because I really like it, but hmm, so sorry. Hopefully, hopefully I get my hands on a larger Deshidia ovata soon, but I haven't really seen them in person, so I think you can only really get them online. So that is the next plant I'm getting rid of. The next plant is another struggle bus for me. So I have chatted about the struggles of this plant ages ago, and I've definitely got better at the care with it, but it's still not beautiful and thriving. And that is my string of hearts. So when I first got a string of hearts, I pictured like crazy plant guys, string of hearts, you know, beautiful, luscious, full, beautiful. And this is the string of hearts I get in my collection. Gangly, sparse, gross. You know, I've done better. It has grown a lot more in my care but I just don't like the look of it. And even if it was thriving, I really don't know if I would really like the look of it because I definitely think my plant taste has changed. I much prefer bigger leaves because I think that they're a bit more striking, they have a bit more presence. This one, it's just, you know, just kind of like sits there and I don't know what that was. That's just what I picture in my head a string of hearts doing if I was a string of hearts. But yeah, I just, I don't even know what, it's going, it's going, it, I'm getting rid of it. I don't feel bad about this one. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So <laughs> goodbye string of hearts. All right, and the last plant I am getting rid of is going to be a plant Then again, nothing's wrong with it, but my plant tastes have changed. And that is the string of dolphins. So I got this plant maybe like a year-ish ago, I think. And I thought it was adorable. I saw the little dolphins. If you haven't seen it up close, like they honestly, they look like little dancing dolphins. And yeah, that's cute. It's got, it's got character. It's a little bit crazy looking, but I don't know, there's something about it that I'm not really loving. I think it's just not bushy enough, maybe. I have popped a lot of propagations in the top. They're probably not rooted yet. So, you know, um, I did do that maybe a few weeks ago to try and make it look a little bit better, but I just, I still don't love it. And it's just a plant that sits there. I don't, it doesn't spark joy when I stare at it. So I'm thinking that maybe someone else would really like it. I think my mom might really enjoy it. She's really good at those like kind of string of um, and succulent type things because she does not water plants like ever. So they thrive in her collection. So I think she might really enjoy having this outside. And yeah, I just, I'm not a fan anymore. And that's sad because I used to really like it. Maybe if I found a different string of dolphins that had like thicker dolphins, bigger, cause mine are quite small. See, there I am, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to replace it and it hasn't even left yet. I have an issue, I have a problem, someone help me. <laughs> but honestly, I think that is a plant that I'm getting rid of. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope I have given you some motivation to clean out your plant collection. Let me know if you think I'm making any huge mistakes. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.